Hi, I'm Bobby. Hi, I'm Jazz. And I'm Cassie. And we'd like to welcome you to the University Orchestra's fall concert. Due to COVID-19 and social distancing, things have been different this year. But now more than ever, we need to hold on to our human values of love, peace, truth, right action, nonviolence, and put them into practice. This fall, we have had the opportunity to work with the Tender Youth Organization, a Chicago-based organization that aims to change the conversation about gun violence prevention by engaging the people closest to the pain of everyday gun violence. We have had the honor of meeting the founder of Tender Youth, Delphine Cherry. She has personally been affected by gun violence when she lost her children, Ty Issa and Tyler. Um, the name Tender Youth was chosen in honor of Ty Issa, who wrote poetry and Tyler who was a musician. As a way to work through her own grief, Delphine used a journal to record her thoughts, emotion and policy details in order to cope and stay present in the investigation. Devin Star Tender Youth by providing emotional support journals to victims and survivors of gun violence as well as guiding these families through difficult times. In the eight years since TY's beginning, the outreach has expanded and adapted to best support the community. Devin has been involved in proposing two bills that involve certifying gun sales and rem helping remove guns from threatening domestic situation. Tender Youth also works to build community and support network through events, celebration, and COVID-19 relief. In the future, Delphine would like to expand Tender Youth by hosting retreats for children affected by gun violence and providing them opportunities to have experiences outside of their neighborhood. We would like to use this concert to honor the families and victims of gun violence. Throughout the semester, each section of the orchestra has been able to get to know a family who's lost someone recently by listening to their stories. As a bass section, we'd like to dedicate Adagio from Sonata No. 4 by Handel to Delphine and her children, Thaisa Abney and Tyler Randolph. In a time where live music is at a standstill, we would like to share our heart and our songs for you tonight.
section from North Park University Orchestra. We were able to establish communication with Mr. Alan Scott, who was kind enough to share with us his story and journey concerning gun violence. His story began five years ago as his daughter, Kaylin Nicole Pryor, starting her career as an aspiring model at the age of 20, became a victim of gun violence as she was involved in a drive-by shooting on November 2nd, 2015 in the south side of Chicago. Kaylin had graduated from Evanston Township High School where she had been very active in many extracurricular activities. She had begun attending Robert Morris University, Illinois to earn a degree as a paralegal and had just also signed a contract with Factor Woman, a professional modeling agency. The agency had only kind words to say of her as her bright and positive spirit captivated the hearts of everyone around her. After her death, her father, Alan Scott, had made it his purpose to help others who have experienced this struggle as well as touch the lives of the hurting and broken through continuously spreading the love and light of his daughter. He claims that although he does not know the ultimate solution to the issue of gun violence, he strives to work towards such a solution by serving in any way possible. Mr. Scott's burden to help others, fathers who experience the same pain allows him to become a beacon of light to those in darkness. Although the legacy of parents are supposedly passed down to their children as they depart this life, Kaylin's legacy will be passed down through her father and will remain an inspiration to many. Although Mr. Scott has been through such a traumatic experience, his consistent positivity has provided encouragement to countless others without hope. Though he has made a tremendous impact in the lives of many affected by gun violence, he nevertheless has remained humble and is constantly grateful for the opportunity he has been given to share his story. Thank you for your service, Mr. Scott. Your labor is not in vain.
section of the North Park University Orchestra. My name is Melody and I'm a senior. My name is Jasmine and I'm a sophomore. My name is Michelle and I'm a junior. Our orchestra advocates human values which are love, truth, peace, nonviolence, and right action. This semester we've decided to collaborate with the Tender Youth Foundation and learn about the families who have lost loved ones to gun violence. We were honored to meet Latoya and hear her story. We are dedicating this poem with love to LaToya and her family. I long for you to find peace, to smile just like the sun, that your hearts will be warmed and your children loved, that your days be filled with joy. I hope for you to know love, that the world will not belittle you. In the early morning breeze, you sit, kissed by morning dew. I pray that you and all you love will walk safe and proud with God and nature's beauty in fullness and in love. We will now be dedicating this piece to Latoya and her family, Allegro by Handel. Enjoy! Enjoy.
strangers alike gather to play. Float on through Logan Square, past the car forever half parked. Float on past the husk of a property that could have been his own restaurant. Float on by all that Ricky was and could have been, but for his brief 24 years. Land in our world, where he is but one tally on a mound of statistics. Land anywhere in Chicago that should be safe, but for all the violence in our communities. Land amongst those who face such tragedy, but walk forward so none may know it again. Love your neighbors and your community like they do, working so they may be safe from tragedy. Love the fallen as they have, taking them as inspiration and mission, not as forgotten fate tragedies or faceless statistics. Be vocal and active in the pursuit of a world for hearts as light as feathers, not weighed down by tragedies and bullets. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Yvonne. I'm Coleman. I'm Hannah. I'm Nancy. I'm Chisel. This video is dedicated to Ms. Marceline and her son Tommy. We want to present you with this video on this piece to remind you of the love that you had for Tommy and to remind you of the relationship and the love Tommy had for you as well. We'd like to present you with this poem titled Funeral Blues by W.H. Auden. Stop all the clocks, cut off the telephone, prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. Silence the pianos and with muffled drum, bring out the coffin, let the mourners. Let airplanes circle moaning overhead, scribbling on the sky the message, he is dead. Put crepe bows round the white necks of the public doves, let the traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves. He was my north, my south, my east, and my west. My working week and my Sunday rest. My noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever. I was wrong. The stars are not wanted now. Put out everyone. Put up the moon and dismantle the sun. Far away the ocean and sweep up the wood, for nothing now can never come to any good. Once again, uh, all of us from the cello section at the North Park University Orchestra are like to thank you so much for sharing the story so openly with us. And we hope that um, you were able to find much peace. Um, we hope that this is an ongoing conversation uh, for the years to come.